So this looks like it might be the last memory. They appear to be in prison. There's a dude in a bucket or something over there. Lady Grey! I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the guards taking you. Then I heard about the assault accusation. What, poppycock? You would never hurt her highness. The ceremony's already started. I don't know why, but something, something just isn't right. That's why I took the liberty of bringing in your battle attire. Although I hope it doesn't come down to it. Please, Lady Grey, save her highness and escape. Only you can do it. Only you can protect her happiness. That's what her majesty would have wanted. Take cover. I'll distract the guards. Oh no! Prisoner is escaping! She went this way! Hurry up and catch her, you dolts! Alright, are we in Chrono Trigger Prison Escape now? I know Lady Grey, the destroyer, could kill all those guards. Lady Grey! Don't worry. Four eyes clued us in. We'll do our best to hold back Lord Johann's men. Maybe our good for nothing lies will finally matter, even just a little bit. Now go! Rescue her highness and flee! Into the void! I wondered how I got to the void, because she looks like she was just walking down a field, which didn't make any sense. It seems the lady in waiting has clawed her way out of the dungeon. Gray! Your highness! Are you okay? I'm sorry, Gray. I couldn't do anything. Now everyone has. What's the meaning of this, Johan? I'm afraid you arrived just a bit too late. The sacrifice, it is almost done. What? Are we in Berserk territory now? <laughs> Everything in this world comes with a price. I learned this lesson a long time ago when I lay wounded on a silent battlefield, starving and freezing to death. I kept praying to the stars, but the stars wouldn't answer until finally all I could do was to curse my rotten fate and blame those responsible for it. Then they appeared before me. The Void Lords? They promised me life and power to change the world. All they needed in exchange was my unwavering devotion. Led by that, I come to offer this measly kingdom and its inhabitants as part of our contract. Show yourselves, Lord of the Void! Griffin! Yeah, yeah. Ease on the melodrama. I'm wondering also if earlier the NPCs I pushed into the pits were Void Lords. Because the merchant is the same size as me. So these fiends are the source of your power. Demons! Hmm, I think that's what you mortals do call us now. Well, I don't like the sound of it. Explaining it all in detail would be way too complicated for you. Demons will do. The hell I care what you're called. Just leave her highness out of this, Johan. My quota is still a bit short, correct? That is correct. One soul remains. Whatever should I do? How about you help me decide, my dear lady? If you offer your soul as the final part of my sacrifice, I'll promise to let your princess live. And why would I trust you ever again? Because you'll cling into any semblance of hope of keeping your petty princess safe. Just like you did in order to persuade me into marrying her. Shut up, you bastard. If only you'd known I'd marry your highness either way to fulfill my plan. Luckily, playing hard to catch paid off in spades, since I quite enjoyed your enthusiasm. So... What do what you do best. Squirm before me, Almighty Grey the Destroyer. I don't you even think about it. <laughs> the Grey I know isn't such a wuss. Groveling like that is pathetic. After all these years, you now decide it's okay to just quietly fade away. Quit acting like you're about to give up. Now I'm getting a pep talk from her highness. How low I must have fallen. Johan, I refuse your offer, and I'll make sure you pay for all you've done. I swear it is great at the Destroyer. B. Um, that's Lord B to you. That's Lord B. Would you like to entertain this haughty wench? Ooh, really? Can I do it, sis? Do as you please. But if Dis finds out... Who's Dis? You're on your own. 
Yay! Who's Dis? I don't know Dis. Hello, I'm Voidlord B. Nice to meet you. Now. Let's get fired up, mortal. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lord Bo Void Lord B looms above you. Let's attack. Die, monster. No can do. A monster whose mere existence mocks the world itself. Void Lord B is waiting. You steal your resolve. Void Lord B is becoming restless. Taps her feet impatiently. Growing more and more anxious. Has had enough. Lunges at you in a lazy manner. You bore me to death. Huh. You've fallen. I didn't think I was going to win based on my first attack. Damn it, what are you? Huh, did it break already? Boring. You should be pleased she lasted for that long. Usually mortals simply lose their minds at the sight of our true forms. Either way, playtime is over. Complete the sacrifice, surrogate. Will that fulfill my contract? Naturally. Watching you struggle was truly magnificent. Shame things turned out this way. As the future emperor of this waking world, I would have loved to have you beside me. Crap. I'm sorry. I couldn't fulfill my promise to you. I can only pray for Lily's safety with you in the afterlife. Wait! Hey, big horns. Big what now? I don't fully understand what's going on, but if Johan made some kind of contract with you, I want to make one as well. I'll offer myself. All I want is that you leave Grey alone. Now this is rich. Our juvenile little princess thinks her soul is worth something. Do you believe you can just make a contract with them like it's nothing? How unbelievably gullible you'd have to be. Very well. <gasps> is that Lord Ad? Or is that Dis? Who is this? Young lady, do you wish to offer your soul? Now wait a minute. This has to be a joke, right? This asinine child doesn't even understand the meaning of devotion. That isn't something you'll be the judge of, surrogate. Are you certain of this, Your Honor? Dis has approved her terms. A contract can be formed. Whew! This got super interesting. I'll ask you once more, young lady. Do you wish to offer your soul in exchange for the safety of this woman? Yeah, I do. Your Highness, wait! I can't accept this. You there. You seem like the leader of this bunch. I beg you, take my soul instead. Tear my body apart if you have to. I'm afraid that's not possible, but if you truly wish to reclaim her, meet us at the end of the void. She will be waiting for you there. Their dis will reevaluate the worthiness of your devotion. What? What's going on? How did it come to this? Gray. You worry too much. It's better this way. Earlier, I was so scared, I thought I'd rather die. Now I don't even really know what's happening, or where I'm headed to either. But for as long as you stand there, I'm not afraid. Like how you always kept believing in me, I'll now place my faith in you. And... Lily, please take care of it while I'm away. Oh, I got my wedding pendant back. Or my pendant, which is her wedding pendant. It's an important wedding gift, and I don't know what I'd do if I lost it, so make sure to return it, alright? Your Honor, our time is almost up. Are you ready, young lady? You can bet your ass on it, Tinhead. It's about time I start to live up to that nickname of mine. Very well. There's something I need to tell you. The heck? What she needs to tell me? Who would have guessed? Well... This result is as good as any. Unfortunately, I'm not willing to take the risk of leaving you alive. This time I won't miss. Sorry, my safety was guaranteed. Straight or soul for my safety, buddy. Nothing's happening? Oh, forgot to mention. 
Since you didn't finish the sacrifice in time, your contract has been voided, so you can say goodbye to those magical finger-snapping powers of yours and whatnot. This isn't funny, B. I was only one short. Do I look like I care? Besides, I've got a feeling that's the least of your problems right now. See you soon! <laughs> Gray, please. This has been a rough day for us all. So calm down and listen to me. You've got no idea what I had to do to get where I am now. I only did it for my kingdom, for my people. Nice. That's it. There is a two fifty five. There's a universe in the background. What? Uh, what's this? Dis OS report ep air mem thirteen removed restored dis report this is some kind of operating system invalid br value definitely brain value Fatal error, BR null. Remember, it said you could change the last two digits, but not the first digit. Value disturbed, invalid, or missing BR value, mem13, or BR null. Am I dead dead? Might be dead, dead guys. Well, I think I have to choose to end it all. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more Void Stranger, I assume there's more then feel free to subscribe. As always, leave comments. I do love talking to people in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.